There is confusion tonight over the government's plans to deport the terror suspect Abu Qatada. His lawyers have lodged an appeal with Europe's highest human rights court, even though the government believes the time limit for such an appeal has passed. If the radical cleric's case goes back to Europe, that could mean further delays in extraditing him to Jordan. The Home Secretary says it's simply a delaying tactic. Is our political editor, Gary Gibbon. After Abu Qatada was sent back to prison by the Special Immigration Appeals Commission yesterday, his legal team got straight to work. They've lodged an appeal at the European Court of Human Rights Grand Chamber, a day after the Home Office here thought the deadline had passed. Much now hangs on who is right. Is there no comment been, at all that you cannot... I think, you there, actually, no, I think I'm afraid there's no comment, but we have spoken in court, and it's very clear from what we've said in court. I, I wasn't in there. But the Home Office doesn't want a drawn-out appeal in Strasbourg, slowing up the new deportation effort, which they only began yesterday. I believe the assurances and the information we have gathered will mean that we can soon put Qatar on a plane and get him out of our country for good. Yesterday was all about reassuring doubters that the government would remove Abu Qatada from British soil. News that he might get an appeal at the European Court brought the Home Secretary rushing round the studios, insisting the government had got it right. The Home Secretary has been absolutely clear about the deadline, absolutely frank about that, and I've got nothing to add to that. All I would say is I'm absolutely clear, the entire government is clear, and frankly I think the country is clear that this man has no right to be in our country, he's a threat to our security, has absolutely uh, no further call on our hospitality, and he should be deported. This is becoming a shambles and a confusion, and we don't want the Home Office taking any risks with this case. It's really important that Abu Qatada is deported and also is held in custody and before that, but at the moment that seems to be putting at risk by confusion and chaos over exactly what date things should happen. Home Office officials say that as recently as Monday, they were given reassurances by Strasbourg that Monday night midnight was the deadline for any appeal. But academic lawyers we've spoken to believe that Abu Qatada's defence team has got it right and the deadline was actually 24 hours later. The Home Office is now worried that if there were to be an appeal to the European Court, it could seriously delay the deportation efforts. It's also worried that a British judge might decide, with deportation not imminent, Abu Qatada should be let out on bail. And the Home Office will also be deeply worried that its own reputation for competence could be about to get a severe dent. Gary Gibbon, Channel 4 News, at the Home Office. Well, earlier I spoke to the Home Secretary, Theresa May, and I asked her why the process had been so chaotic. So if I can perhaps just explain what uh, has happened here. Um, we've been very clear, if you look at the treaty, there is a deadline that either side in a case that's been before the European Court can ask for an appeal, what's called a referral, to the Grand Chamber of the European Court within three months from the original judgment. That three months was up on the 16th of April. Uh, it is, however, up to the panel of the Grand Chamber as to whether or not they accept a referral. I believe this referral by Abu Qatada and his lawyers is a delaying tactic. I believe it is outside of the deadline. It's interesting, it was only made several hours after they had been in court here in the UK and had seen the strength of the case that we have but to ensure that we can deport Abu Qatada back to Jordan. But the European Court is saying it is within their deadline. So Who's got it right, eh? I mean, is this a question of you not having done your homework properly? Uh, no, it's not. And in fact, what the European Court are saying is that the determination as to whether to accept this and, and uh, timing was will be for the panel of the Grand Chamber. Uh, that we, we will argue, we uh, believe absolutely that it was outside of the deadline. This is a delaying tactic. There's nothing surprising about an Abu Qatada delaying tactic. The, the question is this, is he within his rights? according to the European Court, to go ahead with this. And they would say that he is. And that means that you have a problem on your hands. Uh, no. Uh, the treaty is absolutely clear about the timetable, and we followed the timetable as set out in the treaty. But it is open to the panel of the Grand Chamber to make a decision as to whether or not they accept this. But, but if you had waited 24 hours to make your statement in the House of Commons, we wouldn't be where we are today. You wouldn't be giving me this interview, because you wouldn't have to. 
Uh, no, I don't think that's the case at all. Uh, and uh, as I say, this is, a, I think, a delaying tactic, tactic that he has used. It is at the discretion you of the You keep talking about the delaying is... tactic, but did you actually get it right or did someone not do their homework in your department? No, we're very clear. If you look at the treaty, at what is set out in the treaty for the timetable for referral, if you look at precedent in the European Court, uh, uh, previous cases and when judgments have become final, it was clear that the deadline for referral was on the 16th of right. April. But this is such a high-profile case. It's politically so important. You have travelled to Jordan. The Prime Minister's been on the phone uh, to the King of Jordan. I mean, this is a big deal, and it's been a total mess-up. No, it has not. Let me remind you that yesterday, what the UK government did uh, was we arrested Abu Qatada, we took him in front of the UK court, we presented our case of the work that has been done uh, from with the Jordanians to get assurances, I'm very, it was very clear yesterday that it could take some time to deport Abu Qatada. He has legal avenues open, various legal avenues open to him. I'm not surprised he is pursuing this delaying tactic. What I am absolutely clear about is that the UK government has a strong case to deport him. And when we are through this process in the European court, we will be resuming that deportation. The Home Secretary.